This is not in any way hyperbolic, guys. BYD CEO Wang Shanfu revealed in the first couple of months of this year that he planned, a very aggressive plan, by the way, to dethrone and to pretty much eliminate legacy auto from China. Now, this is crazy because if you think about it, for decades now, legacy auto have been making their biggest profits anywhere in China. However, very soon, I'm talking a few years from now, many of these companies, but potentially Toyota, potentially Nissan as well, might exit China altogether because their sales are shrinking rapidly while BYDs are growing at an incredible pace. If you still don't believe me that BYD are going to overtake Toyota in terms of global car sales, then have a look at this chart. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching Electric Viking. It's great to see you. BYD just sold a record at 342,000 cars in June. The most it's ever sold in a month ever. But here's the thing. June of last year, BYD sales were much, much, much lower than this. Uh, BYD, even though it's not the fastest growing car company in the world, that is Zika and Geely. Even though it's not, its growth rate is staggering. Look at this chart. I mean, BYD is just marching upwards. All right. Yeah, it had a crazy month there. I uh, reported on this. February was a... And to be honest, uh, January and February were shocking. February was incredibly shocking. What the hell happened there, guys? Looking at this chart from scene of post, very weird. I reported on that and I was baffled by that. A lot of people who are BYD fans just roasted me for reporting on that. I'm not sure why, but they did. But guys, I'm here to report to you now that BYD sales have just hit a new record. And this is pretty amazing. BYD's previous record was December, set in December of last year. And December is always the highest selling car month in China worldwide, um, not worldwide, in China. BYD sold its largest number of vehicles in December of last year, and that's normal. That's completely normal. All car makers, not all of them, but most car manufacturers will set their car records in December of whatever year it is when they set, you know, whenever they're at their peak. Of course, for companies like legacy automakers, you know, Nissan, Toyota, Volkswagen, theirs was several years ago. I'll never again hit those records in China. But BYD's records, they'll continue to increase. Same things happen, guys. Neo, Zika, they just sold their biggest number of cars ever in a month. So we're seeing these Chinese automakers really blitz legacy automakers. Looking at BYD's actual sales, what percentage of them were EVs? What percentage were plug-in hybrids? Well, first of all, in total, BYD sales in the month of June were 35% higher than one year ago. And they were 3% higher than May. BYD's EV sales, they only grew by 13% year over year. But that's still a pretty damn good number though, if you ask me. BYD delivered 145,000 fully electric cars. However, they did deliver 195,000 plug-in hybrids. So you can see here BYD are really targeting legacy automakers. They're targeting companies like Toyota, like Volkswagen, like Nissan, who were formerly the biggest car manufacturers in China. They're targeting them with plug-in hybrids because all these people were buying internal combustion cars and BYD is like, well, here's the next step. Get a plug-in hybrid, get used to that, and then in a few years time, you can buy an EV from us. So the best selling cars from BYD, and this is worldwide, the BYD Song was a best-selling car. Now, there is an EV version of the Song, but primarily the Song sales were plug-in hybrids. The BYD Song, 70,000 deliveries. The BYD Chin, though, actually was even more popular. And the big reason for that is, I believe, that um, it's very, very affordable. There's a new version of the Chin, and also its growth rate has been staggering. I mean, look at this month. BYD sold 45,600 units in June of the Song, which was the best selling car, but the Chin has overtaken it with 68,450. The BYD Yen, which is the Addo 3, that BYD sold a total of 36,000 Addo 3s. They delivered uh, not really any growth guys with the BYD Seagull. Anyway, BYD delivered 36,000 seagulls, which is about the same as the last few months. 
BYD Chaser 05, which was a, a really a, an underperforming car all of last year in China. BYD have improved the Chaser 05 and growth now 222% growth for the Chaser 05. BYD delivered um, pretty much the same number for the last three months with a total of 33,000. The BYD Seal, massive growth for the Seal as well. BYD sold 24,400 seals. Now, the majority of those BYD seals are not being sold in China. More of those are being exported. So they're selling quite well as a global export vehicle. BYD Han. BYD Han, 21,900 deliveries, which is about the same as the last few months. BYD Tang. There's a new version of the BYD Tang. BYD delivered 15,700 of those. That's BYD's large electric SUV. The BYD Dolphin. Dolphin sales have been surprisingly low. I mean, look at these numbers here, guys. Only 10,000 Dolphins delivered worldwide for the last three months in a row. When if you look at last year, BYD crushed those figures. Anyhow, something's up with the BYD Dolphin. I think BYD are probably going to deliver an updated version in the next few months, which might boost sales. I love the Dolphin. I'm a big fan of it. So I'm surprised to see the Dolphin not really selling very well. BYD E2. Not many E2s were sold, only around 500 BYD E2s. Now the BYD Sea Lion 07, that's a new vehicle. That was launched in May. BYD delivered 7,000 of the Sea Lion 07. That is meant to be a direct competitor to the Tesla Model Y. So sales for the Sea Lion 07, considering it's a great car, will probably increase drastically over the next few months. Guys, if you want to see my video about the BYD Sea Lion, I'll put a link in the description. The BYD Frigate, not many frigates were sold. Um, it's not a boat, it is a car. Sales were down 94%. Uh, only about 500 of the BYD Frigate 07s were sold. BYD Denza, pretty good sales for the Denza. 12,000 deliveries of BYD's Denza brand. By the way, Mercedes-Benz owns 10% of that company. BYD owns 90%. Fang Cheng Bao, that's BYD's luxury car brand. BYD sold around about 2,700 Fang Cheng Baos. So they're quite expensive. There's no Fang Cheng Bao vehicles that you can get that are affordable. They're all, you know, upwards of 50,000 US dollars. In addition, Yang Wang, that's BYD's ultra premium brand, the supercar brand. They have the uh, luxury electric SUV, which is around 150,000 US dollars. Sales for the Yang Wang brand have been a little bit underwhelming. In general, the Total deliveries were 5,500 from January to June. And in the month of June, they delivered a total of around 400 Yang Wangs. So yeah, <laughs> Yang Wang. Guys, BYD sales in so far this year, I, I believe show a very clear trajectory. And that is by the end of this year, BYD will likely deliver three and a half to four million cars. They're gonna be one of the world's five largest automakers this year. And I believe if you look at the growth rate, look at BYD, they're, they're building factories in Brazil, in Mexico, in many places, in Hungary, in all across, all across China, in Thailand, I believe as well. This company is in a growth phase and it's going to disrupt its legacy automaker rivals, not just in China, which it's doing right now, but outside of China as well. It's going to take massive market share in places like Thailand and Australia, where it's already beginning its ascension in my opinion, BYD is going to be the biggest car maker in the world in 2030. Thanks for watching.